whenever they have budget cuts, we're always the first look to see if they can eliminate the air traffic control function of Fort Sill. So we don't have an aviation unit assigned to the airfield. Paul has been around a long time. He's been a major impact to the Lawton Fort Sill area and to the Army. Without his efforts, you know, people wouldn't have realized how important that ARAC system is and the air traffic controller is to allow Fort Sill to continue to train uninterrupted. Fort Sill is the only non-major test facility and location that can demonstrate and train above the horizon technology. And having this approved special space allows us to do that. So if it wasn't for Paul and his team, we would not be able to work with uh, MIFIX, CRAM, Joint Counter UAS, the school that's coming here next year or the following year, or Director of Energy and Shore Act. Because of his work and expansion, on the special, the restricted special use airspace and with the FAA, we can do all those things that other bases don't have the ability to. Pretty incredible impact to the installation of what he's done over his 20 years here uh, and it will have impacts for years to come.